So Twitter's been buzzing about a new AI image model called Nano Banana. Now, I'm gonna show you a few examples and I'm gonna show you how to use it. This is a thread I put on X here. You can follow me at Mark Adala if you wanna see this stuff first. The first example, I got this from Reddit. Three guys sitting on a beach and he asked them, he asked Nano Banana to add pink suits to each of these people. And look how perfectly it did this. The faces are perfectly consistent. This is something that I have, I've had an issue with with many AI models where if I'm asking it to do edits to a photo, like just edit one part of the photo, it'll change the face. The faces remain perfectly consistent and they add the suits. Now, the only thing I can point to is that his glasses are removed. Everything else looks pretty much perfect. So really, really cool stuff here. And a lot of people are doing this for, for virtual try-ons and using it for stuff like that. Um, here's another really interesting uh, idea. Added a photo with a product and then asked Nano Banana to put it together and it created a very, very, very good um, ad here for this product. So some really cool stuff. Another one here is very similar, right? Having this painting, adding the art coffee and boom, it, it creates this ad. Um, so let's go back here and I'm gonna show you uh, a few more examples. So this is one that I thought was really good. This is a photo restoration. You can see an old blurry photo that is now restored to almost a perfect quality photo using this model. So just uploaded this and said, hey, restore this photo, and boom, you have a great looking photograph here. Uh, he has a bunch of other examples there as well. This is one of the more impressive things I've seen it do. So he uploads an image, he or she, whatever, uploads this image, and then asks for multiple scenes or multiple angles from the same scene. And it keeps the consistency of the scene so well through these multiple angles. This is incredibly useful for AI video creation. So if I want to, most AI video tools right now will only give you about five to 10 seconds of video. So if I wanna have multiple different angles for one scene, it's very hard to do that with AI video. It's not very consistent. But if I can create start frames like this using a tool like this, like an AI image model like Nano Banana, it does a great, great job of doing this. And then I can create a new scene using each of these start frames um, as a start frame in like VO3 or high-low, for example. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you another example here. Um, so this is a model, right? They put a model and they asked it to give different uh, facial expressions, right? So angry, sad, curious, shocked, laughing, smiling, winking, pucker lips. So again, the character consistency is so, so good. It even keeps the little mole here on her chest like perfectly intact throughout every single photo. I'm, I'm super impressed. I really think a lot of people are gonna cancel their Photoshop um, once this comes out. And by the way, I'm gonna show you how you can use this right now. If you wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. It's super simple and it's actually 100% free uh, right now. Uh, I'll go through a few more examples here. Um, so again, taking these two images, right? So here's like the new rumored iPhone. I think this is like the 16 or whatever. Uh, the new rumored iPhone. Tim Cook, and then putting it together, 17, sorry, 17 Pro. And you can see him holding up the new iPhone 17 Pro here. Uh, pretty cool. And it actually does a great job with text as well. Um, so another cool example here, base image, and then creating different shots, right? So here's your first base image, and then make them sitting on a billiard table, boom. Again, very, very good quality of character consistency here. Um, prompt two, make them, now playing billiard, one girl wants to shoot the ball, the other one is standing watching her, waiting for her turn. Very consistent, very, very good, right? It even has the lighting perfectly nailed and it keeps all of the different things in the scene, right? This neon sign in the back, um, the, the art on the wall, everything, even the amount of billiard cues here. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, in this shot, one, two, three, four. So consistent, so quality, so impressive. This is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people not only for AI image, but as start frames for AI video. This is another one that's going viral right now. People are using it to create different, um, different viewpoints for a character. So here's one looking straight on, side look, side look, and then the back of the character. Again, keeping it incredibly consistent, not only his outfit, but the size and shape of this character, his haircut, I mean, everything. Very, very cool. So um, if you wanted to have, um, different viewpoints for a character. If you're doing like a model shoot, for example, and you want a different angles, very, very good tool for that as well. Uh, another example of um, having all of the different pieces put together, right? We have a location, a character, an outfit, and a car. And 
it goes ahead and puts those all together for us here. Very, very cool. Um, this is more of like a digital influencer that it created. And then it's showing uh, like her in different outfits here. So pink dress, workout outfit, workout outfit plus bag, right? Again, keeping everything very, very consistent here. Um, even the pins in her hair, her earrings, everything just staying so, so consistent. It's gonna be very useful, very, very useful tool for a lot of people. Um, then the very last one I wanna show you here, just taking uh, images of two people. So Michael Jackson, uh, Billie Eilish, and then putting them together here, uh, taking a selfie together, right? So um, here's how to use it. It's so simple. All you have to do is go to lmarina.ai. Now, it's a little bit of a pain. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, but essentially all you have to do, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go to their website, Ellen Marina. If you haven't used this, um, this is a great way to try um, AI models before they're made available to the public. So a lot of times, um, right before they come out, Ellen Marina will start to preview them. They'll give this their APIs to Ellen Marina so that they can, you can start doing tests. Um, you can actually see the leaderboard and see like who's winning um, for certain models, right? So text models, web development, vision, text to image. Um, and you can start to see who's winning um, in these in these model categories. So, but if I wanted to test Nano Banana, if I want to show you how to use it right now, all you have to do is go to generate images, describe the image you want. So, a young man and a woman taking a selfie in a park. Right? We'll just give it a prompt. Um, you could also upload an image here, so I could upload an image and have it edit the image as well. Um, and boom, you have our images. Right? Then you choose which one I like more. Right? So if I like left or right. So it's so funny. I've done this so many times. I can already tell which models, which I know this is going to be Quen edit. I'm, I'm pretty sure at least it's going to be Quen edit because they're always Asians in Quen edit. Cause I guess it's out of, out of uh, Japan or I'm sorry, China. So let's go to left is better here. And it's going to then reveal what model was used. So this is Gemini 2.0 flash preview. And this is C dream. So I was wrong. This is not Quen edit. Um, let's try it again. So I'm going to try the same prompt again. And essentially what you do here, Whatever you want to do, you keep trying until it gives you a nano banana output. Um, it's going to take a few tries usually. Sometimes it'll give it you in the first shot, but a lot of times it's going to take a few tries because it really wants you to test out the different models and see which one's best. But essentially, whenever it gives you an output here, um, so let's say uh, right is better, both are bad. Let's just say right is better here. Um, it's then going to tell you which model was used for this output. So then you know. So this is um, image gen 4.0, and this is Photon. So um, I have an example here of where it works. So I was doing um, a beautiful young woman taking a selfie in her slightly messy room. We had uh, image gen 4.0 here, image gen 4.0 ultra versus regular 4.0. Um, this was ideogram, GPT image. And these are all pretty good. Image gen, honestly, 4.0 is the only one that comes close and they're both coming from Google. Um, I really don't see anyone coming close. So image gen 4.0 here, uh, image gen 3.0, and then finally, um, we get Nano Banana. I mean, look how far we've come, by the way. This was like the premier model last year was Dolly 3. And this is like so bad compared to Nano Banana. I mean, this looks like a total uh, cartoon image here compared to the realism of Nano Banana. Um, really, really cool. And you can see it just does a very, very good job of creating an uh, extremely realistic model here, um, taking a picture uh, with this selfie. But that's it. That's basically how you use it. Another way to use it, I found um, this guy Christopher on on uh, on X here. He's talking about um, the only legit way to use it is Ella Marina. So that's what I just explained to you. But essentially, what you do, um, you go to the leaderboard, um, and then you go to Image Edit, and then you hit Start Voting, and then you can start uh, testing that model as well. So another cool way to use it um, as well. And um, yeah, a few more cool examples I'll show you before I get off here. Um, this one I thought was really really cool. So essentially he asked for, he uploaded this image here of a woman eating like udon noodles here, um, and then asked to, to cartoonize uh, the bowl of ramen. And man, it does such a good job. That looks so cool. Uh, I could see this being so useful for like different kind of video creation as a start frame. Um, you could have this start frame and then, you know, animate it to this, or you could start from this and then, you know, create a video from that. Another cool example I saw here um, was the creation of ads like this. Um, so again, just uploading uh, the product image and then asking it to create um, a product ad with this, right? And it keeps the product so consistent uh, throughout the image. Um, and I also think this is going to be big for, unfortunately, the world of catfishing, because when you can create con con character consistency this well, um, people will get fooled online. They're going to get fooled and people are going to think they're speaking to real people. 
Um, drop a comment, let me know what you think about that, uh, what you think about this model. And if you do do some cool stuff with this, also drop a comment and let me know what you did. I'm very curious to see what people are able to create uh, with this model. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this.